Get in, let's go for a ride. We've had this car for a couple of years. It's been a great project. But what a neat car. I love the 80s Land Cruisers. This is the 89. It was an FJ62. It's We kind of made it a 60. Now it has a manual transmission. This particular car, we put 410 foot-pounds in with a 275 horsepower motor, put a clutch back in it, and uh, we just checked it out. It's a four-wheel drive function works. We'll get the four high hooked up, but starts in third gear. Uh, drives nicely in fourth and fifth. The thing just jumps up to 60, wants to go over 100 miles an hour. I think, let's take a look at it. It'll be kind of cool. We put about 80 kilowatt hours in this truck. It fits super nicely. Uh, a main battery module in the front, and then in the back we have a pan battery that fits kind of the pancake uh, fuel tank that was in the car, and then a couple side modules that was in there. So the motor and the transmission underneath. We use a Tremec 4050 Trans, a nice clean unit for the truck. We put the air conditioning compressor in that you've got over here. You've got your coolant loop for your motor and your charging, You've your VJB, the coolant loop for your batteries as well. And in this car is unique, a cold climate setup in it. So it can be that ski mobile that we said. So it'll have thermal management for keeping the batteries warm up there in the mountains. So hopefully this thing shows up in Aspen and it's having a lot of fun. It's a truck, it has BFGs on it. They don't want to drive around on pavement, right? Who wants a BFG on pavement? That's stupid. And this is actually running. So this is the much noise it ever makes.